Hi there, this is Mr Evans. In this video I'll be looking at the concept of contribution um, and how it relates to break-even, uh, covering these two uh, bullet points in the specification here. So, um, I've showed this slide before. Break-even output, the number of units a business uh, needs to sell, so it makes neither a profit nor a loss. So we can have a look at a break-even chart and we can uh, spot the point at which total revenue is equal to total costs. That's the condition for break-even to occur, that our total revenue is equal to total costs. However, we can calculate it using a formula, which is fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. Um, the contribution per unit is the selling price minus the variable cost per unit. So, um, contribution per unit, or the, the concept of contribution is an important one. Um, what contribution is all about is, let's just say these are cricket bats that we're selling. Um, the selling price for each cricket bat is £40. Each uh, cricket bat uh, incurs a variable cost of £20 for each cricket bat that's made. So that would be things like the cost of the wood, the varnish, the uh, rubber that might go around the handle of the cricket bat. Um, so. The, uh, what the contribution per unit tells us is that um, once the uh, raw materials for that unit have been paid off, in this case we've got £20 left over. Each unit costs us £20 to produce, uh, we sell it for £40, therefore we've got £20 left over. That is the, the contribution that goes towards paying off the fixed costs and then um, once the fixed costs have been paid off, then goes towards um, uh, making a profit. So, um, so contribution is important. Contribution is the amount of money that uh, each unit contributes towards fixed costs or profit. Now, I gave this example of uh, a firm that's expecting a business that's going to sell 3,000 of these cricket bats. So um, let's have a look at that. Um, we're going to look at total contribution this time, which is the difference between total revenue and total variable costs. Okay, and we can calculate uh, total contribution in two ways. We can either calculate the contribution per unit, uh, which is £20 times the output, uh, which is predicted to be 3000 or we can do total revenue minus total variable costs, they will give us the same number. So um, the contribution per unit we said was £20, the output was 3000 and that gives us 60000 total contribution. So from selling these cricket bats, um, all 3000 of them, they have made a £60,000 contribution towards paying off the fixed costs and then earning a profit. Okay, so we can, um, we can actually use this information to help us find how much profit is being made. So um, what we could actually do, if we don't have um, uh, the information we need to find profit by calculating total revenue minus total cost, but we know the contribution and the fixed costs, um, then we can use this information. Now, if you remember the fixed costs were £40,000 uh, for uh, producing this product, total contribution £60,000, so we put that into our formula, we've got £60,000 minus £40,000, that gives us a total profit if we sell 3,000 units of £20,000. Now we can just check that against our uh, handy little table here, um, when we make 3,000 uh, units we get total revenue of 120000 and total costs of 100,000, 120 minus 100 equals 20,000 pounds. So uh, by uh, using uh, the formula total contribution minus total costs, uh, sorry, total contribution minus fixed costs, uh, that is a, uh, another way of working out uh, profit. Okay, so contribution, uh, what does each unit or what is the total contribution that a product made towards a firm's fixed costs and then towards making it some profit. Uh, sorry, I 
was the end. Uh, the importance of contribution is it allows a business to assess if it's contributing towards paying its fixed costs and adding to its profit.